There's not a lot of Barca players that are unanimously liked in Spain. For every Barca legend that's loved by Barca fans, there's a Real Madrid fan that dislikes them just as equally. But Iniesta, you will be hard pressed to find a Spanish football fan that genuinely hates him. He just announced his retirement a day or two ago, and he got an outpouring of support from all over the football world, including Real Madrid themselves. Of course, a lot of that has to do with the infamous World Cup winning goal back in 2010. It's hard to hate on a guy that won your country the biggest trophy in football, but it's also the fact that the guy is just nasty. He's a filthy player. In the history of the sport, there's only been four times a Barcelona player has gotten a standing ovation at the Bernabeu. Surprisingly enough, one of those names isn't messy. It's not hard to reason why. I mean, he did crash out that one time and kick the ball at Madrid fans in the crowd. That shit is still hilarious to me. You just know it was a last second impulse and he just did it, then immediately regretted it after. With the whole Ronaldo Messi rivalry too, it would be a little bit overkill to guess up your biggest up. I know I'm not cheering for that motherfucker if I was a Real Madrid fan. The first to get an ovation was Diego Maradona in 1983, and it didn't happen again for another 22 years until Ronaldinho in 2005 when Barcelona. Barca won 3 0. Recently, Lamina Mo got one, and he's technically the fourth, but I don't think it really counts because even though the game was at the Bernabeu, it was a national team game. In between Ronaldinho and Yamal, though, there was one more Barca legend that Madrid fans gave their props to after he whooped their ass. On today's episode of The Archives, we're traveling back to November 21st, 2015. El Clasico. Real Madrid, Barcelona. Barca was sitting in first with 27 points after Madrid had taken a loss to Sevilla. Madrid was in second with 24. Ronaldo wasn't playing his best. He'd blanked in his last two Champions League games, breaked in the loss to Sevilla, and pretty much was having a relatively rough go. It got to the point where people were questioning whether Neymar was the second best player in the world over him. Like, actually. In current form, Neymar is, a lot of people say, slipped up to second best player in the world. Meanwhile, not everything was sunshine and daisies for Barca. Messi was having knee problems and he'd missed the last five games. One of those was also a loss to Sevilla, who I guess were just really determined to ruin the big two season as much as they could. He was on the bench for this game, but they start off without him against Madrid's actual super squad. The game started off exactly as you would expect the Clasico to begin. A wild challenge from Sergio Ramos and an exaggerating ass flop from Suarez. Shortly after that, though, it was nothing Ramos could do to stop this. Roberto with a slick reverse pass and then Suarez stabbed it into the far corner. Early Barca lead away from home. This entire time, Iniesta is literally just coasting around the midfield having the time of his life. Darting around players, poking the ball around and shrugging off pressure. This ball to Roberto was incredible. He'd be carving teams up so casually. Madrid, meanwhile, they fighting for their fucking lives. Occasionally, they would get a break. Like, there was this one time Bravo did some dumb shit and gave Busquets the most hospital of all hospital balls, and he got caught right outside Barca's box. Most of the first half, though, Barca was in control, running rings around Madrid at their crib without Messi. Late in the first half, Iniesta poked forward a good through ball for Neymar, and he slipped into the box and slapped it around Navas to put Barca up too. All of a sudden, Madrid weren't just on their heels. They were at risk of letting Barca run away from them. Iniesta, meanwhile, is having the time of his life, like I said before. He whipping out back heels, throwing out beautiful switches wherever he felt like it. It was like when a bigger kid pulls up to a park full of little kids and starts absolutely frying them just because he can. It's just ironic that Iniesta was one of the smallest people on the pitch. Right at the end of the half, Neymar absolutely emasculated Danilo, and then him and Suarez gave Madrid a heart attack to take to the locker room with them. 3 nothing before halftime at home with no Messi would have been crazy. On God, Madrid fans probably would have stormed the pitch. Unfortunately, Barca picked up right where they left off in the second half anyway, so it didn't even matter. And Yesta was still prancing around like he owned the place. At one point, he honestly just started having fun with them. He made it even worse with this absolute banger that he punched in at like a million miles an hour to make it three. Neymar was also on bad time in this game, by the way. Around this time, he was 100% on the trajectory towards Messi and Ronaldo level, and everybody knew it. Like a month before this, he had a four-goal game against Rayo Vallecano. The world was convinced that soon we'd be getting three horse races for the Ballon d'Or. <sighs> Man... Anyways, Iniesta kept acting up throughout the second half. Madrid tried their hardest to bother him, and he just shrugged them off. It was a peak midfield performance. The funniest part about this game was Benitez's reaction every time Barca scored. Shit was mad funny. He just sit there scribbling on his notepad. Boy, you're not writing nothing. Stop trying to be nonchalant. We know you mad as hell. It was even funnier when they subbed Messi shortly into the second half. They was already putting belt to ass. Then Enrique was like, hold on. We got something else for y'all, too. A little after the 75th minute, after Suarez scored again, Iniesta was subbed off, and the roar 
support from the stadium would make you think it was the camp now. They only showed a few of the Madrid fans that were standing and cheering, but listen to the entire crowd. Player replaced. Oh, they've lost the tradition. There was a, a lovely tradition. This is just never going to be another Iniesta, man. The guy who won two Euros with Spain and won them a World Cup, got man of the match in the 2012 Euros final for Spain too. There isn't many Madrid fans that are going to go out of their way to come at a guy who's done all that. He's the only player ever to win man of the match in a World Cup, Euro, and Champions League final. If we're being honest, he has one of the best arguments for greatest midfielder of all time. I never like it when people act like it's not a debate at all when it comes to Zidane, because Iniesta has a case too, and so does Xavi. Thanks for watching, y'all. Not gonna lie, I've been glazing Barca a lot recently. The Madrid fans on this channel finna kill me. Don't worry, I'm gonna figure out a way to equally glaze Madrid soon. I'm gonna get cold biased if I don't. It's just kind of hard because y'all kind of playing like shit right now. Let's keep it a buck. Anyways, <laughs> I will see y'all next time. Thanks for watching once again.